What if everything around you, this room, your body, your memories, even the stars in the sky, wasn't real in the way you think? Not imaginary, not a dream, just not fundamentally real. Now here's the uncomfortable part. Scientists can't actually prove the universe is real. In fact, the deeper they study reality, the more questions they uncover. And those questions have no clear answers. Let's start with the basics. What is real, anyway? We assume the physical world exists independently of us, that atoms, particles and forces make up everything. But how do we know that? All we ever experience is sensory input. Light hits your eyes, sound hits your ears. But what's really out there? Our brains build a model of the world. But that model isn't the world itself. It's a filtered, interpreted simulation running in your head. You don't see reality. You see your brain's best guess at it. And if that's true for every person, then none of us actually experiences the real world directly. Now here's where it gets weird. Quantum physics has shown that particles don't behave like solid, permanent objects. They behave like probabilities. They exist in multiple possible states until we observe them. This is known as the measurement problem. A particle isn't in one location or state until something observes it. So, what does that mean? Is reality dependent on observation? Does the universe need a watcher to take shape? Some physicists think that might be true. Others argue the universe still exists without us. But the fact remains, we don't have a complete explanation for how the universe becomes real. Even time itself might not be fundamental. At the quantum level, time can behave strangely. Some theories suggest it could be an illusion, just a way we organize change. And space? That might not be fundamental either. Theoretical models like the holographic principle suggest that space could be emergent, a product of deeper, hidden information. In those models, everything we see in 3D space is just a projection from a 2D boundary. Think about that. You might be a projection, a kind of visual echo of information from somewhere else. You feel solid, you feel real, but you might be the output of invisible code running on the edge of the universe. Still with me? Now let's talk about simulation theory. Some scientists and philosophers argue we might be living in a simulation, not a video game, something much more advanced. A universe with rules, laws and logic, but ultimately built from information. It's not a proven theory. But here's the problem. We don't currently have a way to disprove it. That's right. We can't rule out the idea that reality is simulated, which leads to a haunting conclusion. Even if the universe feels real, even if we study it with the best science available, we may never know for sure. Because everything we use to study reality our instruments, our senses, our logic, are inside the system we're trying to explain. It's like trying to read the label on a jar, from inside the jar. This doesn't mean the world is fake, but it means that real is a lot more complicated than we thought. When scientists peel back the layers of physics, they don't find bedrock. They find uncertainty, probability, equations, and at the bottom, maybe nothing solid at all. So what can we trust? Some say consciousness might be the only undeniable fact. We don't know what it is. We don't know where it comes from. But we know we're experiencing something. The rest, particles, space, time, the external world, might all be deeper questions than we ever imagined. So the next time you look around, remember, what you're seeing isn't reality itself. It's your brain's interpretation of signals and until we understand how those signals arise, we can't say for sure that the universe is real. At least not in the way we've always assumed.